Hi, I'm Dennis with TheGarageEngineer.com and today I'm going to show you how to convert any lamp into a touch dimmable lamp. Now this is a typical brass lamp. It's made out of metal, brass, it has a power cord and the power cord takes your power you've got a, a main power line and you have a secondary which is the neutral so it takes the power from the outlet into the lamp up to the bulb and then back down to through the neutral but what we're going to do is we've got a uh, this is a replacement kit but this kit is a West Tech replacement this is a replacement kit but it's a touchable dimmable and this is ha has three different levels so you got low medium and high and then off as the three different settings so uh, what we'll do is uh, in any normal lamp uh, this can be this kit can be used and added in line with the power this lamp happens to be an already touchable dimmable lamp so uh, I, what I'm doing is doing a repair and just replacing it because the dimmer in the lamp has broken so let's get into it and we'll take a look at it so we take our lamp let's lower it down Usually the bottom of lamps just have a little felt bottom on there, so we take that off. And you can see here that this is already has a the t touchable dimmable kit in it. But basically the wiring is the same as a regular lamp. You've got your power coming in, you've got your neutral, and then this has a ground which touches which touches the metal base. So it senses when a human touches it um, that that's the trigger for the switch. So what you do is we will disconnect this, and we will just uh, and I'll show you the uh, how it's connected, how it connects up when we put the new one on. So we'll go ahead and open it up, and we'll make sure that the uh, power, uh, the wires all match up. Alright, so we've got the yellow, that's going to be your ground. The brown is going to be the power going to the lamp side. The black is the power going to the, uh, the main or the, the, the main power side. And the gray is your neutral and you'll connect both the, the, power, uh, the cord side, the main side, and the lamp side together. So it looks like it matches up. Uh, to what we have, so it should be pretty, pretty easy swap. So on a normal lamp, you would have. Uh, there wouldn't be a disconnect between these two. It would just be one continuous wire and uh, you wouldn't have a ground. So all you're doing is, uh, if you just have a regular lamp, you just cut the wires like this and then you find the main, uh, the power, which usually has, uh, it's written, there's either black marks or a line or something to tell what the main power is. This is the lamp, this is going up to the lamp and this is coming in from the main, the uh, your outlet here. So what we'll do is we'll start with the gray, and we'll find the neutrals. Now the neutrals shouldn't have any writing on any of the wires. I don't know if you can see that has some writing, so that's the main power. So we want the actual, the other line here. And then the same thing for the power line. We've got to find that. There's a knot in it. Now they usually put a knot in here, so no one can pull too hard on the wire and rip it out so that's a good idea to put a knot in your wire so this is your neutral here so we're going to twist those two together we're going to find the, the gray we're going to add that and twist it in we're going to put a cap on it the black wire which is going to be the power from the outlet side, which is your remaining wire. So this is the going to the outlet, and here's the power side that has the markings on it. You can, there's some black markings 
written on the wire here and we just follow it around so we just twist that up put the new cap on there you go now let's see here we've got the brown wire this is the brown wire this goes to the the main power going up to the lamp and the same wire here that has the writing on it so we will twist those together and we'll add the cap and then the last thing is we got to add the ground so it's kind of the touch sensor part of it and it's the same thing you just take the two yellow wires You twist it together and you twist the cap on all right so let's test this out we're gonna set it up on its base and a light bulb Now the key is that this has to be on at all times um, and you'll control the lamp by touching the base. So right now it is on as we can see and then we'll give it a touch and it turns it off. Now this is a fluorescent bulb so it doesn't change as much and the flickering you can see is because it's shorting the power out. Um, it's not getting enough so let's go try an incandescent bulb so here we're gonna add a uh, this is actually a LED bulb and it works just the same alright so when you touch the uh, metal base you get uh, a medium light touch it again you get a highlight and then touch it one more time and it goes to a, a soft a dim, dim light and then the fourth touch is off so it's a pretty simple little hack that you can add to any uh, lamp. It needs to have a metal place so you can touch. But other than that, uh, it, it's really neat not having to go up underneath a shade and trying to flip this on or off. You can actually just go, you touch the base wherever you want, and you can actually have different settings. So uh, depending on the mood that you're in, you need bright light to uh, see something, you can just touch it. Or if you want a dim light, to read a book at night or something like that, you can uh, uh, also get that. So you see it's pretty easy to turn any lamp just using a, a part that you can get off Amazon for about $8. I'll have the part actually listed in the uh, description. So if you want to make your own touch dimmable lamp, you can do so yourself. But now we know how it's done and now you can make one for yourself. Go out there and make something.